Department, Rafa Siafo, ATL's own, Kalanji, Tonga in the building, make some noise. Yeah. Y'all could do better than that now. Come on now. Come on. What's happening? How y'all doing? Peace. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought this is an RBG fest. Right. Come on, man. Right. This is an RBG fest? Right. Yeah. right. Africa's in the house. You African, make some noise up in this motherfucker. Yeah. Let me tell you, I saw you in the home of Rap Brown, Georgia today. Today we changed the name of Atlanta's RBG. And that's for Rap, Rap, Rap Brown, Georgia. Right down the street, two blocks down, my man H. Rap Brown built this community. Y'all know about H. Rap Brown? Yes, sir. Make some noise for H. Rap Brown, formerly the band of Jamil Alameda. Y'all all right? Power. Come on, man. It's not playing. I don't even come outside no more. Y'all need to tell me something. Black Power. We are. Right. We're my black. We're, we're my Africans. I, I see Queen City in the building. Yes, sir. Give it up for Queen City. Hey. I see Lone Star RBG in the building. Give it up for hey. Lone Star RBG. Yeah. I see my man Richard Raw in the building out of Delaware. Act like you know. Give it up for Richard Raw. Woo. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Who else is here? Who else is here? Nobody else here? There y'all go with that. My man Baba Hakeem is in the building right here, Elder. Walking up on me, about to put the things out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How many of y'all know what the RBG is? What's that red, black, and green about? Anybody? Okay, okay, I hear Revolutionary Black, black Gangster. What else? Read about Garvey. Read about Garvey, what else? Anybody else? Righteous Black God. Righteous Black hey, listen, Let me tell y'all something real quick. Cause I, I'm, I'm going to be bringing somebody else up in a minute, right? But I'm, I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all because of the fact I represent the movement, right? I'm a fifth generation freedom fighter. I ain't no new jack, right? I just look like this. Yeah. Okay? I'm saying that to say this, right? A lot of times folks get it confused between the conscious community and movement. And there's a difference. The conscious community is just you read some shit, you talk some shit, and that's it. It's sort of like, like, like sports. When you look at a football game and whatnot, right? You got the host. The host is on the sideline and they sitting there and they talking or whatever and they telling you about everything about the about the uh, about the game. They got season tickets. They're part of the NFL and all that. But then you got the players. That's right. They doing commentary. Then you got the players. They get broke up. They get water thrown on them. They get some Gatorade dumped on their head. They, they wise act crazy, all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? They get thrown under the bus, all that. That's what the movement is. The conscious community, all you got to do is sit back and talk that bullshit, right? <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, man. I'm down for the bruises, right? I'm looking at many of y'all and I'm grateful because of the fact that I was doing this when it wasn't fashionable. Right. I was doing this when we was on the corner. I'm from Bridgeport, Connecticut. If y'all know nothing about Connecticut, don't get it twisted. It ain't no Oprah. I'm from the hood, right? But I'm saying that to say this. I remember being on the corner with Simon talking about free so-and-so. I remember being out there fighting for police brutality and all that. And Cash like, well, he probably did it. You know what I mean? The police wouldn't just beat you down to seeing this right here, seeing the era where it's cool, where it's fashionable. You know what I mean? I appreciate many of you because I recognize many of y'all come from the streets. And the difference between a street organizer and a cat that come from the suburbs, no disrespect, is a lot of times it's like a cat that ain't never got their ass whooped. They just jump up talking crazy whenever they feel like it, right? Because there's no checks and balances, right? Now if you see a cat and he say he ain't never got lit up, it's because he ain't never got no real fight. Yep. Facts. I'm saying this to y'all, man. I love y'all. Many of y'all I'm just beating the day. Some of y'all I've been knowing for years. I appreciate and respect the fact that y'all travel, right? I've been holding it down in this community for quite a while. We have work that we put in in these streets. We have property in this city. You understand what I'm saying? We have schools in this city. We have old martial arts institute, African martial arts institute. We got urban survival preparedness out here. We got youth programs because we put that work in. So when you see me, you just not see some cat that's just running up on the microphone talking crazy. Love and respect to all y'all that travel. Love and respect for all y'all that got the audacity. The audacity to stand up and say I'm black. To say I'm straight black pride. To say I'm strong and I'm African, right? right. I respect that. So don't let nobody fool y'all. While you're in this city, have a great time. You understand what I'm saying? Connect with some of your comrades. 
But before you leave here, I need y'all to do one thing. I need y'all to leave with some type of code of culture. In 2004, Speak on it. I wrote a joint called the RBG Code of Conduct. Yes, Many of y'all see it going around yeah. online. Yeah. Some cats changed the words, some folks remixed it. Some folks Speak wanted to lie and say their grandmother uh -huh. wrote it and all kinds Speak of other stuff. Uh -huh. That's cool. But at the end of the day, our work should be about action. Yes. RBG is a verb, it's not a noun. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? We got seeds of revolution, yes. right? We got folks who've been putting in this work from birth, right? And then we got some folks who just came along and they read some books and they got inspired. Or they boy might have got beat upside the head or they just got sick and tired of being sick and tired like Fanny, Fanny Lou Hamer said. So our thing is respect wherever you came in. A lot of times we get so arrogant that we think that because of the fact that we've been around for a while, that if you just came in yesterday, then your fight don't matter. Uh -huh. Your fight don't count. That's not what we are. Our position is when you come into the game, just like if you was on the block, you come in showing respect. If you was on the street, street organizers got respect. You ain't gonna just go set up on somebody's block and that's just gonna be hunky-dory. That's how it has to be when it comes to movement and action. How we looking over there, Sufiata? I got you. You ready? You got me? All right. I had to stall y'all out for a minute. You know what I mean? <laughs>